hi all of you in today's video i will be showing you all that what is the difference between id and classes in css most of the time we will be using id and classes so let's just start the video uh, and and first i will show you that um, like i will show you the concept what is the concept behind id and classes so assume that this is your car and uh, i will write here let's say let's say it is a ferrari okay so all of you know very well that what is ferrari okay so this is your car which is ferrari but uh, there are lots of people who owns ferrari in us in in canada in india in uh, japan in china in in all over the world there are many people who owns ferrari but if you want to identify a particular ferrari how can you identify by seeing its number plates so you can see that the number plates is this section as you can see it is uh, the number plates are in all cars okay so it is not that just in ferrari but i am giving an example for you to understand more and relate more so this these are your number plates and these are your id which it means uh, if you pick this number plate so you can identify and it is a unique number plate it is unique all over the world if you f you can't find the same number plates same number plate vehicle uh, in a, in another country you can't find because it is unique so id is like this it is unique and class is so class is your ferrari class means there are lots of ferrari so there are there are lots of car like uh, that the people who own ferrari there are many people who own ferrari all over the world so which means this is your class it can be used by many people but the number plate number this number plate uh, can be used by a particular person so that is the main difference between id and classes now i will show you in my vs code without wasting time let's make a file so let's go here and i will write here uh, this is my seventh video so let me just write seven dot uh, css okay because it is a part of css now let me just scroll so now let's insert boilerplate first so i forgot to uh, so i accidentally write a uh, css so i i have to rename it because uh, so this mistake you don't make because every time if you make a website if you if you make uh, the uh, the structure part of a website is html and the styling part of website is css and the functioning of the website is javascript so let me insert boilerplate uh, here okay now i will write some content like uh, I will write paragraph first. Uh, in paragraph, now I will write my name is Saitte. Okay. So let me save. So as I told you in my previous video, that uh, uh, I will be using in internal CSS more in my uh, almost every time I will be using internal CSS. Uh, throughout my web development series and uh, later on when when I will uh, make a project when I make a production ready project so in that case I will use external CSS but for now for uh, uh, for for few days I will be using inline C uh, sorry internal CSS so let me just uh, show you that what is the class and what is ID so like uh, uh, first let me I have made a mistake and what mistake I made I will show you you have to if you want to uh, give CSS you first have to write style and now in that style you have to write P P is our paragraph now curly braces in that you write color let's say color which I want to give uh, I want to give color to my let me check some crazy colors so like this magenta okay now let's save and go to our live server so as you can see that uh, my text is now my font is now uh, colored 
magenta so now i will write again a paragraph in this i will write uh i am a professional web developer okay now you can see that i have written here i am a professional web developer now let's save by pressing ctrl plus s and now get back to my uh, this so if i uh, refresh it you can see that it is also in magenta because the problem is that uh, i don't want it uh, this paragraph in magenta i want it in uh, you can say gold color but it is now uh, so that heading is presented in magenta color but i don't want so what i will do like i will give a, a here i will give a id as i told you id is always unique id so let's say id will uh, you can say you can give anything para okay para okay now let's save and uh, here i will write para because it is id id always start from dot sorry id al id always starts from a uh, hash so let me write hash and write here para okay now again curly braces okay in this i will write color uh which color i will use uh first let me check gold so i want this gold color okay so let me save now if i uh, refresh it so now if i re refresh it you can see it is golden why because i have uh, given a id which is unique so it is it will not apply on each para as you can see but uh, if i write here like uh, class okay class is equal to like uh, anything you can give like uh, i will give not not unique okay not unique so if i write here a uh, para again and in that i will write class okay so let me just do this so in this i will be write like uh, uh anything my lambo is magenta okay okay so what will happen now uh, so i i have already told you class class can be used many times but id id is always unique so you have to give id a unique and i just want to say that a class always starts from dot so if i write here uh, i have give given i have given not unique so let me just correct it dot not unique okay because it is my class which is represented by dot and not unique is my class u n i q u e okay so let me save and now let's get back to my live server so if i uh, refresh it as you can see my lambo is magenta because uh, i have created a class and if i like i want to show one more thing let's say if i add another para not here okay so let me just give that id id is equal to para okay and in this i will write uh what i will write so now you can see that i have written i am becoming a web developer i forgot to add a okay so i have used id two times which is not a good practice so i just write it to show you and i have also saved it so as you can see that my id is also working uh like you can see that it is uh so it has created font uh replaced black color with gold but it is not a good practice i will uh, not recommend you to use instead of this you will use class classes for uh for you can say class is class can be used many times but uh, id id 
is not used many time you can't use id many times so it is not a good practice it is not a practice it is really not a practice so this is a practice you can use class many times in you can use in heading you can use in anything if you want to add css so let me just go to my live server again and if i refresh it so you can so id is always unique so you can use uh, classes like this many times how many times you want you can use but id is always unique i think by watching this video you all can understand that what is the difference between classes and id and i just want to say that uh, it will take just uh, uh, five to six videos more on css and after that i will be showing you how to build a website on the basis of html and css without using javascript i will be showing you and after that uh, the javascript will be started along with the web development bootcamp and uh, yeah after that i will make awesome websites and you can also make by seeing the video by watching the video also the source code of for th this video if you want the source code of this video so source code is in the description in a document so you can click on that and open that document so i think that's about it for today and i will be meeting you in my next video bye for now